Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we have 10 potential new teams for these 10 NBA superstars. So this is an article by Michaels Zach, and I'm going to go through each and every single one of these players slash teams or trades, whatever it is here, and I'm going to determine if I think it would be a good fit with that player going to that team, if it makes no sense. Uh, guys, as always, give me your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section below. So here we go, man. The first player we have. It, bro, how you got? Wait, 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 wait. Couldn't move. Yo, wait, wait, that's a Carmelo Anthony, right? I got nothing against Carmelo Anthony, but that's, that, that's a Carmelo Anthony, right? And oh, superstars. So, okay, I, I, I cannot make this correlation, man. My brain is about to explode. But it says Carmelo Anthony going to the Miami Heat. Um, As far as that fit goes, I will probably say, sure, why not? Because I feel like they can get him for a pretty small contract. Um, It would be kind of cool to see, like, in their old age, Carmelo Anthony and Dwayne Wade, both part of the Banana Boat squad, by the way, play together. So I'm kind of all for it. The Heat team, the, the Miami Heat don't really seem to be doing all that well right now. So, I mean, why not add him out there? Because, like, I'm going to say straight up, like, a lineup of Dwayne Wade and Goran Dragic with Melo at the three spot. No, probably have to play the four, actually, because you're going to be starting Josh Richardson. And then a sound waste out the five. That would actually be kind of cool to watch, guys. I don't know if that team makes the playoffs at all. Uh, it did, you know, 10 years ago. That's a freaking super team, right? Um, but, yeah, man, I don't know. That would be a lot of fun to watch. Sure, why not? You know, if you're a Miami Heat fan, let me know why you would be against this. I guess maybe if you want to, like, develop some of your younger players, like Justice Winslow and Josh Richardson in general, then maybe you'd want to stay away, away from him. But, I don't know. I don't see what they really got to lose on this point. Uh, we have could move Kevin Love going to the Los Angeles Lakers. What a horrible, horrible, horrible idea. Can I just explain why this is a, just a really bad idea? And this is nothing against Kevin Love as a player. But we already know that Kevin Love and LeBron James is not enough to beat the Golden State Warriors. Do you guys realize how much money this man Kevin Love is making right now? Like, do you realize the extension he got with the Los Angeles Lakers? Um, if, or I'm sorry, with the Cleveland Cavaliers. If they trade for him, they are not going to have the money to sign the big name free agents. I don't know if they have the can. I don't know if they have like the contracts to even make a trade work in this case man because a lot of their players are so young around with these one-year deals i don't even think they really have anything to get kevin love with so i do not understand this at all um it's going back to you know teaching a, a, an old dog new tricks but this is a this is teaching a bitch ass dog bitch ass tricks man because this is not going to work at all like that team would just get bounced first or second round in the western conference stick with what you're doing out there you know i, I am all for the team getting bradley beal i know people are against that but i will say when it comes to bradley beal at least um at least you're guaranteed getting a 25 year old 20 point per game score because like you know free agency we don't really know how that's going to turn out exactly but yeah kevin love he's old he's injured he's cost a lot of money no not at all man um next up we have could move draymond green okay so this is going back to the whole drama situation with kevin durant i, I feel like that's over at this point but i guess if a trade were to happen you would probably risk trading draymond green to keep kevin durant happy uh instead of vice versa so they have, have him going to the boston celtics you know what, man? I, I can't say I hate this move. That would actually be really cool. Uh, I said the Boston Celtics would have to send out Al Horford to get Draymond Green, but actually, I would probably want to... Yeah, actually, see, that's the thing, man. If you're doing this trade, you're probably going to trade like a Gordon Hayward or someone like that. You're not going to trade Al Horford because, like, the center position is, like, the one position you actually have, like, a nice rotation with between, you know, like, Al Horford and Aaron Baines. But you add Draymond Green for Al Horford, that for one, you don't really have a good starting center, and two... You have literally three starting forwards in Gordon Hayward, Draymond Green, and Jason Tatum. So, no, if anything, maybe you do some sort of, you know, uh, Gordon Hayward swap or maybe Terry Rozier for, like, a backup point guard. I mean, I, I really don't even see, like, a, a trade that works out for both teams because, yeah, Draymond Green uh, would be nice on this team for, like, his ability to, like, play defense and passing. But from the Golden State Warriors standpoint, who's really on the Boston Celtics that you could trade for that they would actually be willing to trade for Draymond Green that would help their team out because you know look up and down the roster um the one through three spot they're good and their center position they got Boogie Cousins coming back so and even so if you get Boogie back then what are you gonna do with that Horford playing that power forward I, I guess I don't really know man um because he hasn't played that since his uh, college days at Florida I believe I believe I believe he was starting center for the Atlanta Hawks but he actually was power forward alongside Joakim Noah on the Florida Gators although I could have that mixed up you guys let me know in the comment section below okay next up we have could move Kawhi Leonard man Kawhi, gonna, where's he gonna go, man? I, I guess, I guess they're talking about. Is this like in the off season? Okay, I, I, okay. So I guess it doesn't uh, specify saying like trades like in the off season or before the season ends. Okay, I guess I could in theory see Kawhi Leonard going to a different team. Um, I do think the success of him on the Toronto Raptors is a big like selling point for the team. Where it's like, hey, 
you know what, man, you're, you're playing well here. Like, we have a nice team. You're in the Eastern Conference. Stick out, stick it out here. But at the same time, would I like to see him go over to the Los Angeles Clippers? Yes, I would, because that team literally just needs a superstar, and they're good to go. Uh, Shea Gilligas has been a beast. You got Lou Williams out there. You got Avery Bradley, a nice defensive player. You got Tobias Harris, who's looking like a star, man, averaging about 25 points per game his last five games or so. Center position, I mean, you know, you got Boban and Montrez, Harrell, uh, who are nice players and stuff like that, but... I just feel like Kawhi Leonard would, in fact, be the missing piece of that team, and they would be probably a top two or three team in the Western Conference, I'd say. Um, next up, we have could move John Wall. Yeah, I mean, I know John Wall's saying that he wants to, like, stick it with the team and stuff like that and, you know, be a retire Washington Wizard, but we all know the NBA is a business. If they're not winning games, if, you know, there's a chemistry issue, somebody's going to get moved, and John Wall, they got him going to the Detroit Pistons. So I actually did a rebuild of this on my channel. If you guys want to uh, check that out, it's in my recent videos on there. Um... And the team, I guess I'm going to spoil the rebuild. They won a championship, man. But, no, I actually, as a Piston fan, I am all for this. Just because, yes, John Wall is a very, very expensive player. Which means we probably could get him at a pretty good price. But his contract's like, what is it, three or four seasons long? Um, which is a similar contract to Blake Griffin. It's like three or four seasons long. Which means that we don't have the cap space anyway to go out there and, like, sign a big-name free agent. Not to mention, big-name free agents don't typically um, come to the Detroit Pistons. So, being able, we got Blake Griffin via trade get another potential all-star point guard in uh john wall i'm all for that guys I, I know people are like yo that's not really a good fit because he can't shoot or anything like that i don't care man we got reggie jackson at point guard right now so i'll take john i'll take my chance to the john wall um we're not really going to be signing no big name players on the detroit pistons so I'm, I'm good with that could move kemba walker going to the san antonio spurs you know i, I never really thought of him going to the spurs i don't really have any reasonings against this I mean, you look at, you know, the, the, the pros of it, then, yeah, you get Kemba Walker for a few seasons while DeJounte Murray comes back from injury. Even Murray, it's like, he's only 23. Like, he could be a backup point guard, and that would just be fine for him. He might not even be the same player once he comes back from his injury, so that might be, like, his role anyway. Kind of like a strong Livingston, what happened with his old injury. But you get Kemba Walker on this team, it's like, yeah, DeMar DeRozan, Kemba Walker, that's a nice um, dynamic backcourt. You got Rudy Gay out there, of course. You got LaMarcus Aldridge. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice fit. Why not, man? Sure. Could move Damian Lillard over to the Lakers. Um, another case of it's like, yeah, if this trade comes up, then of course you accept that trade. I don't really care who it's for besides LeBron James at this point, man. Like, if you have a chance to get Damian Lillard, he is a top point guard in the entire NBA. I know that Laker fans are saying to wait off till free agency, but what happened with Paul George? It's like they waited on Paul George, that didn't happen. So, um, I do you really want to like trust the franchise in you know Clay Thompson and Kevin Durant wanting to break up their super team? I mean, I just don't know about that, man. So, yeah, Damian Lillard would be a nice foot alongside LeBron James, would bring just like that Mamba mentality scorer out there, and would be a lot of fun to watch. So, I'm all for that. And then they say, uh, could move Lonzo Ball, and that would be also to the Portland Trailblazers, so that would be a part of the trade, of course. While this isn't actually bad for the Trailblazers either, um. Just because they get a really young rebuilding point guard. Now, I will say the Portland Trailblazers, they tend to put up pretty good regular season uh, wins, which makes their fans being like, yo, we don't want to trade anybody. We're good to go. But then they kind of fail in the playoffs. So, uh, Lonzo Ball would be a nice point guard alongside CJ McCollum. Just because CJ and Damian are so similar in their style of play, it would be a kind of a nice to have a guy that does maybe some of the things that CJ doesn't do as well, but you know, Lonzo would do them better and vice versa. So, I do like that idea of that dynamic. Um, sounds good to me, man. All right, next we have could move Kyrie Irving. Celtic fans, let me know this in the comment section below. Are you kind of starting to like get that sense that Kyrie is going to leave the Boston Celtics or do you think he's going to stay? Because it seems like the team is hesitant to move Terry Rozier for the reason that it's like they're really not quite sure what's going on in Kyrie's mind. Um, but at the same time, it's like they, they probably just don't want to get young, rid of a young point guard that's on a very good contract right now and um just in case Kyrie does have an injury right because that of course he does have an injury history so I think that's probably the bigger reason why Terry Rozier is not being traded but they have him going to the New York Knicks um I guess why would the uh why I guess I, yeah it wouldn't really be a trade in this case it would be via free agency because if you're the Knicks you don't really make a trade at all in this case um you just kind of hold off with things because Kyrie right now is on the Knicks is not really going to help them get to the playoffs so they do it's gonna be as like an eight seed or something like that so, yeah, you wait till Chris Tops Porzingis is healthy. You go out there and get yourself a top three pick in the draft. You go for a guy like Kyrie Irving in the uh, offseason, and all of a sudden that team is probably a top three, four team in the Eastern Conference, right? So, yeah, I, I, like the, I mean, I, I do like the fit of Kyrie Irving on the New York Knicks. I essentially like the fit of Kyrie Irving on any team out there. He's Kyrie Irving, right? He's a beast. And then finally, we have could move Kevin Durant to the 
also the new york knicks oh my god man how much fun would that team be to watch like i'm trying to figure out how it would financially work in my head because you would probably say like Kyrie at point guard tim hardaway you feel like they would be able to keep him around but i don't know what his contract would be like but tim hardaway at the two spot kevin durant at the three porzingis at no probably uh probably kevin knox at the four right although i know he's kind of been underachieving the season so i don't know if he'd be ready to start yet but yeah knox at the four chris hops at the five or maybe you try to re-sign ennis Cantor and start him at the five and chris hops at the four to do so you might have to let go of tim hardaway though to pay ennis Cantor, who's been a nice center for them this season but yeah, man, um, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about these potential superstars and Carmelo Anthony and Lonzo Ball <laughs> going to uh, different teams out there. Um, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe a guy that was not listening on here where you think he'll end up at. But anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed. Just want to make one final note. Um, as of right now, when I stop recording this video, this is going to be the final video I record in my current apartment, guys. Yes, man. So videos are a little short for the next few days. It is because I'm moving to a new house. So yeah, man, it's been a lot of fun recording in this current room I'm in. It's very nice here. My new one that I'm getting is going to be a little bit smaller, but it's going to be an actual house this time. Right now I'm in an apartment, so I can be louder and stuff like that and rage more. Probably more face cams, things like that. But yeah, man, it's been real. It's been fun. Peace out.